Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here bringing you guys, well, kind of a different video. Uh, and I've kind of been thinking about doing something like this for a little while, but I was just kind of thinking to myself, it's like, am I really in a position to be giving people advice uh, on YouTube? Um, given the fact that we're not really that big of a channel slash community yet, but I also figured at the same time, that you don't exactly have to, you know, have a million subscribers or even 10,000 subscribers to make a video like this because a lot of it revolves around wisdom and experience as well. Um, you could also say that this is sort of like a, um, well, not so much a, a response video, but kind of like something that was inspired by a YouTuber known as Mega Magua, who is an awesome as hell YouTuber and an awesome as hell friend. Um, I'll even go one step clo uh, closer to... Uh, actually link you guys in the description box down below to not only his channel <clears throat> but to also the video that I that had inspired me to make a video like this uh, he made a video where he was uh, giving a smaller youtubers advice and I figured well you want to know something I want to do the same thing you know that I feel like that this right here is also an opportunity for me to give back to you guys in a different manner um, and there's also other things that sort of uh, sparked this video into fruition. So, that being said, how about we get started? And by the way, this is going to be a raw and uncut video, so I do apologize if either I ramble or, you know, I stutter. Um, or if I repeat myself, because uh, even though I thought about this for a long time, I didn't exactly prepare, you know, any uh, notes or anything like that. You know, I, I do videos like these off the cuff, so... You know, I do apologize if I go a little bit longer than expected, but please, please just bear with me here. So, I suppose the first thing I should do is actually, uh, well, get right to it. Give, uh, give some advice to you guys. Uh, so, I suppose the first thing I should do is kind of uh, open up to you guys and tell you guys how and why I decided to, you know, do YouTube. Uh, it actually started, for me anyways, it started back in uh, 2012, if you can believe it. Uh, you know, I've went through various channels, you know, such as, like, bodybuilding channels or, like, past Pokemon channels that sort of uh, folded for whatever reasons, whether because, you know, no one was watching my content or I wasn't getting enough views or just because I was way, way too busy with, you know, other matters such as work or... Uh, you know, personal matters and stuff like that. Uh, I, I was very disorganized a few years ago. You know, I had my priorities all over the place. You know, I didn't really know want to, didn't really know what the fuck I was doing. Um, and you know, I was uh, I was just thinking to myself, it's like you know, I've been thinking about this for a long time. You know, what would it be like to be somewhat noticeable on YouTube? To be someone that can say, you know, hey, uh, I make money for a living off of doing videos. You know, that right there would be pretty cool. But, you know, to uh, to your average Joe, <laughs> who uh, isn't exactly familiar with the uh, new system nowadays, you know, it's a pipe dream. You know, people are all like, you know, hey, that's that's really big. You know, that's a really nice dream. But, you know, let's face it, it's not going to happen. That's where I say I respectfully disagree with you. Because with a mindset like that, what can you accomplish? You know, um, if someone says they want to be a WWE superstar, let them be what they want to be. Because who knows? Uh, maybe they can do it. Even as high of standards as WWE has, you know, you got to be, you got to, you got to have loads and loads of experience in more ways than one. Um, but that right there is just an example. Um, that kind of goes without saying for pretty much every other profession. You know, you've got to have experience in some way, shape, and form, uh, including YouTube. You know, uh, there's a lot of people that think it'd be easy to just, you know, sit in front of a camera and just, you know, talk like this for, you know, 10 minutes and say, hey, there, there's your video. But it honestly takes a lot more than just sitting down and talking or, you know, whatever. It's like, it, it, take, it takes time. It takes time to produce, you know, quality content, you know. Um, even for someone like myself who uploads multiple times daily, uh, especially on my days off, like, geez, like, I upload probably up to five times uh, a day on my days off work, uh, which is a lot, but 
you know, I I do it because I know that you guys like the content that I throw out there, and you know, I I love doing it. It's actually a very uh, a very passionate uh, hobby of mine uh, that I'm hoping to actually turn into the equivalent of like a part time career or maybe even a full time career, depending on uh, where things go from here. Um, so my advice for someone who wants to start a YouTube channel. Do it up. I say, do it up. You got the whole world in your hands. Do it up. Um, that's pretty much, uh, you know, straightforward, blunt, and all that stuff. But allow me to elaborate a little bit more. Uh, you don't feel the need to, you know, conform yourself to being like somebody else. You know, for example, myself. When I uh, when I first was introduced to the whole YouTube game, and when I was watching these YouTubers, uh, I would watch. People like Shofu, I would watch people like uh, PokeMMD, like MTG Xerxes, uh, Flaming Spade, um, Magnitude, uh, Elo, uh, Dangerous36M, a whole bunch of people. And I was thinking, man, you know, I want to be just like those guys, you know, I just like, I want to get into Pokemon battles so badly. But, you know, due to the lack of resources I had back then, and even still do, um, I couldn't exactly, uh, get, uh, into, uh, recording battles, uh, with other people, which, I mean, it kind of sucked, but, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But, you know, all those YouTubers, despite them, uh, at least in my eyes, uh, way back then, you know, all appearing very similar, they all had different styles of doing things. Like, Shofu, he is extremely unfiltered. Like, the guy would curse up a storm and, you know, just say and make references that are just like, whoa, dude, that's a, that's a little bit uncomfortable for younger audiences. But, you know, there's a reason why the guy has almost 600,000 subscribers. So he's obviously doing something right for himself, and he's one of my all-time inspirations. So it's just like, yeah, like, the guy, the guy was doing something that he was passionate about, and it's working out great for him. So I suppose that, you know, the first uh, bit of advice I want to give you guys is to don't feel the need to uh, conform yourself into being like somebody else. It's really nice to look up to people uh, and want to try to emulate them and stuff like that. But you want to have your own style. You want to have your own uniqueness. You want to have, you want people uh, to see your videos and be like, damn, this person's a first. You know, like, he's not, you know, a knockoff of, like, Shofu or PokeMMD or something like that. Like, this guy is different, you know? Like, um, just the things like that. Uh, another thing that I want to mention to people who are uh, new on YouTube or are contemplating on uh, making a YouTube channel is to be prepared for anybody and everybody to comment. Um, I mean, that kind of goes without saying, because obviously, like, you know, when you, uh, make publications to YouTube with, uh, your videos, um, you know, you're gonna be, uh, you're putting yourself out there. You're putting yourself out there. And, you know, you could be good and wholesome and all that stuff, and that will somehow still, uh, potentially attract haters. Uh, everybody's gonna have their fair share of haters, including myself, you know, especially on my old channel, uh, Mega Masher. And a lot of it stemmed from the fact that I was making videos that was uh, directed uh, to Verlicify. And by directed, I mean uh, his name would be in the title, um, and he would be the main topic of discussion in those videos. And there were also uh, videos that, you know, kind of, um, you could say uh, unintentionally would provoke a lot of conflict. And I say unintentionally because that's never my intention to is to uh, provoke uh, conflict. Um, but, you know, that's uh, neither here nor there. The point is, um, with this channel right here, uh, you know, so far, I haven't really had anybody, uh, you know, really uh, really get under my skin with, you know, their hate comments and stuff like that. I would have someone uh, unsubscribe to me and actually announce it, uh, because of the fact that I uh, lived up to my word to you guys and said that I was going to rematch the uh, curry powder challenge, and he said that it was the most disgusting thing that he's seen on my channel. It's like, all right, well, here's something easy for you. If uh, things like that disgust you, don't watch the video. There's a reason why I tagged that video as gross warning. It's not for people with sensitive stomachs. 
And yes, I did upchuck a bit, but I made sure that I was just out of the uh, camera angle so that you guys wouldn't actually see me throw up. Because eating a whole spoonful of curry powder is nasty as hell. It's not something you're supposed to be eating in spoonfuls. But I digress. Um, what I'm trying to say is don't let people with hate comments and ignorance and stupidity uh, get to you. Because you're going to have people, uh, you know, say some of the rudest things. And, you know, especially if... Um, I'll give you a perfect example right now. Um, someone who I'm friends with, uh, she's a, a, a woman. Um, she had actually had um, start just started her uh, YouTube channel. She hasn't loaded any videos yet, but uh, you know, her and I were talking, and you know, there was a post on uh, Facebook that she made, and you know, there was this guy that made like a really dis like really disgusting and inappropriate comment. You know, just about. Um, Basically, to put it uh, blunt, is about cleavage. So, you could say that um, my advice, especially, sorry about that, my video uh, that is uh, that I had uploaded previously just finished rendering. Um, so, anyways, uh, especially to uh, female uh, females that are looking to uh, upload and you know start their YouTube channels, you're most likely going to be getting a lot of people. Uh, try and troll you, you know, try and say, you know, like, just, like, make really disturbing and misogynistic and inappropriate comments. Um, so my advice to you especially would be to ignore them and to do what you're passionate about, you know. No one has the right to take that away from you. That goes without saying for everybody, not just female gamers or female YouTubers. That goes for everybody, males included, everybody. Uh, you're going to get hate comments, you're going to get your trolls, and, you know, it's uh, it's just a, f a part of life. Like I said before, you could be good and wholesome and all that stuff, but you're still going to have your haters. Uh, that kind of goes without saying. I mean, me, like I said, my old channel, I had haters because I was not afraid to call someone out on their BS, and believe me, it was BS. And I do not regret making those videos, but I do regret... Uh, the inadvertent damage it did to the community. And that's one of the big reasons why I uh, made I moved forward with this channel right here and moved everybody else that got the notifications to come over here. Because this is going to be a community where I'm just going to be staying away from anything that would be remotely controversial or anything negative. Um, as for... And I know, I know, uh, you know, there's, uh, there was... Uh, couple people that were kind of concerned when I made those two parody videos um, involving, well, first, uh, to be more specific, can Slurpuff counter Mega Kangaskhan and can Volt Corona counter Meg Lucario? Yes, they did involve uh, statements that, you know, was made by a certain YouTuber, and I more or less wanted to debunk those statements just to see whether or not they were true. Um, could say it was like a Pokemon version of Mythbusters. And um, I actually had uh, some people uh, tell me that it was like Mythbusters and it was really entertaining. And people actually got a good laugh. And that's why I tagged those videos as parody because it's a joke. No harm. It's meant to be funny. And it's also meant to be entertaining too. And it's also meant to be a learning experience because it's like, hey, you know, I want to show people if, you know, what this person is saying is actually true. And based on the uh, results of the two videos, not really. Sorry to say, not really. Uh, unless it's, like, extremely, extremely circumstantial and extremely lucky. Um, but yes, holy fuck. I, I do apologize. I went way off topic there. But, um, but yeah, you're going to have a lot of people, uh, you know, just try and troll you just to get a reaction out of you. Ignore them. Um, another bit of advice, don't, don't set your standards too high. Don't think that just because, you know, your, your channel is not going to be recognized right away that, oh, you know, like, I'm no good, or, oh, you know, I should be, uh, getting these amount of views, or should be getting these amount of subscribers, you know, just because, you know, da, 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 whatever. Um, I actually used to be like that. I used to be all about the numbers. I used to be all about the subscribers. Um, I would be uh, advertising myself in multiple videos of other YouTubers, and looking back, it was wrong. It was very, very wrong, and I, I was a fucking moron 
and an idiot for doing something like that because it's like that's not that's not how you do it that's not how you grow um so my advice for you guys be patient don't set your goals too high be patient network with other people um and just get yourself out there by you know like talking to your friends and you know like seeing if they you know they know people that know people that you know th things like that like you know, try and branch yourself out there. Try and network with other people that may know someone that knows someone else, and you'll you'll eventually get noticed. It, it's it's like it's like it's like a stick of butter. You know, it's hard at first to spread that butter because it's rock solid, but through time, it starts to melt, and you'll be able to spread yourself a little bit more. You'll be able to spread yourself out a little bit more, like butter, and just keep spreading out, spreading out, spreading out, spreading out. And you'll eventually be noticed by the people that you want uh, to uh, notice you, um, and you'll you'll blossom from there. Um, picture it is also like a, a seed that you have planted. You know, you're trying to um, you're trying to nurture your YouTube channel like a plant. You just planted the seed. Now nurture it. Nurture it with really good quality content. Don't rush the content. Uh, make sure that you make the proper edits. Um, I know that with me personally, I'll tell you guys exactly what I use for all my videos. Uh, I use Logitech webcam software for videos like these, you know, face-to-face, -face, um, all that stuff. And I use my laptop microphone. Um, now, sometimes, occasionally, what will end up happening, you see, my webcam has a built-in mic that unfortunately has the boom bursting effect. Also because of the fact that it allows for all background noises to be uh, transferred into that mic where you can hear everything clearly like you can even hear my uh, laptop humming because you know it's it's a very it's a very um it's a very different mic and it's also kind of annoying because you know with with uh, a mic like that i can hardly talk without it sounding all staticky and I know that kind of burst a lot of eardrums for those people who wear headphones, so I do apologize for that. Um, but the mic that I normally use is the built-in microphone, you know, on my uh, laptop, which, um, you know, it's not the best quality, obviously, but it's definitely a lot better than uh, having a fucking sound bomb go off every single time I speak, you know. I, I would much rather have a mic that, you know, isn't the best, but it's not bad either, than have a microphone that could potentially cause bursting of people's eardrums. That's not good. You guys would really hate me if I did things like that. But, um, but yeah, basically, uh, at first you're uh, you're gonna you feel like you're gonna start out with nothing. You know, uh, you're not gonna be able to uh, have uh, not gonna be able to have what other YouTubers have per se. Like you know the whole uh, whole gaming setup, like, you know, their own room and stuff like that. I mean, well, I can't say, like, I have my own room. I mean, like, this, this right here is the laundry room. And I wish I could relocate, you know, elsewhere because, like, just take a look. Take a look. Fucking laundry baskets everywhere and clutter and all that stuff. But here's something. Um, this, uh... The, this room right here is the only place in my house that allows for me to uh, have access to the internet because my Wi-Fi adapter is fucking fried. Otherwise, I'd be able to take my videos and go elsewhere in the house where it's a lot cleaner and a lot more well lit. But you take with what you got. Uh, eventually down the road, you know, you'll be able to afford things and you'll be able to make upgrades and stuff like that. But, you know, for right now, don't set your standards too high and just, you know, focus on what you got right now. Turn that into something positive, and then go from there. Um, when you're able to afford it and, you know, upgrade yourself, you know, upgrade yourself to, you know, a better mic or something like that. I know that uh, once I save up enough money, and I'm slowly saving money, believe me, I'm slowly saving money, I'm going to be able to invest in a better mic. Uh, something that will block out uh, unneeded additional sounds and will make my voice sound more clear. Um... So, yeah, I mean, like, right now, I work with what I got, and I'm happy with it. And I know that a lot of people are happy with it because, you know, look at how far this channel's progressed. 
And it's not just my doing, it's all your guys' doing. All 319 of you, which is the amount of people that are subscribed to this community, this is our channel. This is all 319 of you guys. You know, this is all of our work. You know, I'm the one that produces the content and uploads it, yes. But you guys are the reason behind it. So, in actuality, it's your guys' content, not just mine. It's all of us. Um, let's see, do I have any uh, other advice to give you guys? Um... Well, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Be yourself, ignore the haters, and don't set your standards up too high. And, you know, also, actually, I got one other bit of advice, is to have fun with what you're doing. You know, if you if you feel like that you're not having fun uh, with, you know, a job or a hobby or something like that, don't do it. Obviously, YouTube is not going to be for everybody, because not everybody loves vlogging and, you know, making videos and sitting down and taking time to, you know, produce uh, sound and... Uh, make edits and all that stuff. Uh, it's it's a little more tedious than you think, but it's not it's not impossible. I mean, hell, like <laughs> I've uh, I've uploaded over a hundred videos on this channel already, so that's kind of a testament as to how how not difficult it really is. At the end of the day, I mean, if I can upload videos up to five times a day, should tell you that it's really not difficult to uh, produce videos. But at the same time, don't rush them. You know, make your edits. And make it so that your videos, uh, your videos capture the attention of the people that are watching. You want to make sure that you have, uh, I know that a lot of people don't really use like uh, signature intros or something like that. You know, they don't make signature intros and stuff like that. But if you can help it, try to make an, an intro that will uh, grab the attention of the viewers within the first 5 to 10 seconds of the video. Um, you want to make sure that the person that's watching the video is like, oh my god, like, this, this is going to be good. You know, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. This is going to be good. I got I got to watch this video. And maybe we go one step further, share this video to my friends. You know, things like that. Um, so, you know, just uh, like I said, uh, you know, that's really the, uh, that's really all the advice I have for right now. I may make a follow-up video in case I miss something. Uh, if I have to, or I might annotate it or something like that, or, you know, make kind of like an edit in the description box down below. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Uh, so if you guys uh, enjoy this video, then please feel free to give this a thumbs up. And actually, I do, uh, do me a favor and do uh, everyone else a favor. Uh, if you guys know someone that is looking to start up a YouTube channel, and, you know, they're either nervous or something like that, then we'll show them this video. You know, I may not have the most experience, obviously, but I do have wisdom and I do have uh, experience, uh, some experience on YouTube and experiences in other lights, too. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. I, this video more than ran its course. Jesus, it's over 20 minutes. So I'm going to stop things right here and say for you guys to have a great day and be sure to, like I said, thumbs this video up if you enjoy it, share it with people. Uh, and also be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to Mega Crasher in the community. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys next upload.